Hey YouTube, welcome back to Zittle Farms YouTube channel. Scott here. I know the last video I said we were going to be doing one on the chicken coop. It's still under construction, as you can see behind me. But yesterday, spent the day running some wire for a Tesla charging station in the garage. Spray foam insulation is coming next week, and I figured let's run that wire now, then later. I did this yesterday, and I hope you enjoy and learn a thing or two on basic wiring or how to just hook up a Tesla charging station. So first we're gonna be running 6-2 wire. The reason it's 6-2, it's got a black, white, and a ground, is because the Tesla charger only needs two ports and doesn't need the third white bar. So the white is gonna be acting as the red, if you will. Uh, both will be hot. Uh, so let's get to work. So we don't have to go too far. Charging station is going to be right here. And then the panel that we're going to hook up is right over there. So we drilled the holes. Run the wire over to the panel. So now that we got the wire right here, just got to punch out the hole into the panel. And then we'll put a protector around there and run it through. This is the little thing that will protect it from the metal when you run the wire through. So now that we got that through, I like to keep a good two feet, two to three feet below the box so you have extra wire to run so that just in case if something happens, you can maneuver it around. Here's the other panels I've wired up. These are all three 100 amp sub panels that are coming from the main little garage. Whenever I start stripping a wire from a box like this, or even a small box, junction box, I always just cut the first two inches and then peel it back by hand. If you start with your razor blade up here, come all the way down, might be easier, I don't think so, but then you also have a risk of cutting one of your wires and then uh, you have to rerun it or tape it up. Just cut the last two inches and hand peel it up. That was easy. Then just cut the top off. Very carefully though, you don't want to cut the wire. A little hanging down there is fine. So running this wire was an afterthought. So I'm gonna run the grounds as close as I can with the other grounds and so it still looks clean. But whenever I'm running a, doing a sub panel like this, I always do my grounds first, back in the back, then my whites, and then I hook up the power blacks. All right, so here in the panel, we got the ground back there. Just looks like the other ones. All right, so now that we got the wires in the box here, we're gonna hook them up to the breaker here that I just put in. Once you get it there, you just wanna bend it. It goes, white goes into the bottom one, black will go into the top one.
Now that we're back over here where the charger is going to go, wires pulled through. We're going to use these two two by sixes. Put them in between here for support for the charger. Keep the wire in the middle. I'm just going to zip tie to the nails that are holding the 12 2 wire for the outlet below. All right, now I've got the plate up here. Let's measure. So we got 40 and 1 eighth. 40 and 1 eighth, half of that would be 20 and 1 16th. So that's right there, but we're actually going to be putting either drywall or plywood. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Either plywood on the bottom eight feet or drywall. But we'll just say drywall. Drywall is a half inch. That means it brings it out here. So as you can see here, so I did bring it down a little bit. Three quarters off of the center. Hopefully that's all right. I think there's some play, so we'll be okay. So X marks the spot, we'll drill a hole there. That's where the wire will come out. Make sure you do hold the wire behind so it's not back here so you don't scrape it up. Speed bore, super clean holes. All right, with the hole drilled, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and then back up so we have some play just in case this, if something comes up. Uh, so I'm gonna go down, back up, and then come out uh, about another foot. Doesn't hurt to do a little bit more. Um, if you're short, uh, you're gonna have to just redo it. So we're gonna cut it here. And then we'll run it through the hole. Then uh, staple it back down. So just over a foot, that's where we're gonna keep that. And then uh, we'll just loop this around. Let me put another staple here with a zip tie, and then I'll get another staple over there. up here got the wire through bend this over so it's not sticking out i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something 
Uh, maybe we'll be getting a Tesla. I've been talking to Lizzie about that, the Model Y. The truck only gets about 14, 15 miles per gallon, big 350 diesel. My friend Will over at All Electric, I'll put a link up here, give him a follow. He knows everything about Teslas uh, and other battery powered mowers, scooters, bikes, all that sorts of stuff. So give him a follow, check out his videos. Um, it's roughed in. Maybe we'll get a charger just for Will to come visit. If not, it's here. Easier to do now than later. Once again, I hope you learned something, and we'll see you on the next video.